Good afternoon and welcome everybody once again here at Gahanga International Cricket Stadium as we get on for day three, game six. It's Rwanda A taking on Uganda A. I've got Eric Kubimana and Roger Mukasa alongside Eric, the match official, here for the toss. Eric will be flipping the coin. Tells is a call. Tells it is. Roger winning the toss, what would you like to opt for? Uh, we're going to go for batting first. What sort of a tool are you looking forward to putting on? Uh, we're not sure, but we're going to see uh, from the first ball and we'll see and uh, we'll tell what total we need. But uh, we need to first bat first and then we we'll see how everything goes. Because we've been bowling first and then uh, we need to bat some, to put some uh, runs on the board. All right. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Eric. You've lost the toss. If you had won the toss, what would you have done first? Yeah, we would have bowled first. And now that you've been sent in to bowl first, what sort of a total do you want to restrict them to? Uh, if it might be under 140, it can be better for the team. Any changes to your side? Yeah, we have three changes. Uh, Eric Neo and Eric Neo, David and Michael, they are also. We, we came in with Jasper, Yusuf and and Chancellor. All right, thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Thank you. So that's it from out here in the middle. Team Uganda winning the toss and opting to bat first. It's Rwanda A up against Uganda A. Rwanda A, the winless side, will be taking on the unbeaten Uganda A team. As you go throughout the tournament, eh? Unfortunately, they did hear your message and Kowimana will bowl the first over. Eric Kuimana, the captain of the side, has been opening the bowling for the previous two games that Rwanda A has played at this very ground. ...to the national side. Catch and cut. Catch taken. Kuimana Eric strikes in the first over. Big start there for Team Uganda. Serras Kapuru, just following that ball, the ball had that outwards move and that thick outside edge. Those will be exciting to see how they go. Simon Tatas with a nice pull shot there. That should be the gap. Yes, four runs there and first boundary for well, Especially up front, yes, when they offer a lot of those wide deliveries. Again, that's another wide. Is it a wide or it just brush off the pit there? It races away to the big seeing the hills over there. But in the past days, that not that has not happened. There, another big shot flicked off the leg over mid on for a pound. Cut away. And that should be another four there. Good start there by Ronald Lutaya. With offered, with taken, and punished. Division one. Two brothers in there. Simon Sessas pierces, pierces it into the gap. A bit of a slow outfield, but no chance whatsoever. The field attacking with the field and defending with the ball here. Shot. Lovely. Second time around of the legs there. Same results, four runs. Four runs can Uganda A get upish. Straight to the fielder. Jean Pierre Kundo strikes there. That's the end of Lutaya Ronald. Oh, brushes the pad there and bits the wicket keeper. It will go all the way for four down the leg. Pascal Maroon, the shot ball coming at him. Connects that one. Fielder trying to get underneath it. And it goes through the hands of Hamza Khan for a six. Day morning. Chance of a run out. A sharp throw coming in. And he misses it. So, th so another chance goes begging. Goes up, catches the call. Catch taken. Lovely catch there by Rukundo. Easy. Balls it down the leg. Has been. Oh, almost had it in the deep. Just missed out on the wicket of Simon. Christian Benahirwe. Excellent effort there. In the elite. Full length delivery. 
direct hit and not given and it's all happening out there in the middle at last Hamza Khan is on target bounces there loud appeal and the finger will be raised Shansaye picks up a wicket with a jaff of a delivery coming in captain brings a wicket yeah an identical delivery to that one that he missed out on previously crashing into the back pad at the end of the day when you sit now looking at the score you will find out that this is way it's another good shot there good effort in the field but could be and knocks him over what a delivery magical spell once again full there you see it on the screen missing out on a full toss a deeping delivery thought it was coming in his arc left it is over again another shout there um. and he's been run out with the awareness of the keeper Have a look at that again. The wicket keeper there realizing that the ball was far. They look at the run there. The better was off trying to get the run. You need quite overs here without boundaries. Ah, oh, simple, simple catch. I didn't have the pace. Rukundu Jampier just cuts off the pace watching Roger set up for that shot. I've been saying again, Jean Rukundo Pierre is those typical T20 bowlers. He doesn't try to do much. He just bowls slow cutters, full yokers to get runs off him. They look, try to be innovative there, but finds the short third man fielder there. Easy catch. Gives it a tonk and goes all the way. I told you there's something personal about this competition between Siraj Subuga and Eric Kubimana finds the meet first up and it's a big blow but big hits this is what we have been talking about that you don't want such shots coming in yes they should be going for bigger blows hits it straight flat past the bowler for a boundary Subuga hard hands and that will race away for four once again. Subuga Siraj is all guns at the moment. Rukundo Jampier back into the attack. Reverse. And a switch hit goes for four. Brilliant execution this by Joseph Baguma. Play it's, it's the lunch here at Gahanga. Oh, nearly caught that one. Running back. For a double chance of a run out and run out it is just one run to end the innings there 129 130 i beg your pardon on the board exactly what this keeper asked for at the toss 131 needed by Ronda A men's in the second half. Starting from the beginning, Simon Cesarzi, 32 of 27 with two boundaries and one maximum. Lutaya Ronald scoring 19 of 22 and Pascal Murungi 11 of 23. A couple of single digits and then Joseph Baguma with 12 of 12. Siraj Subuga with an important cameo of 18 of 7. 18 extras done here welcome back everybody once again here at Gahanga International Cricket Stadium we've got the Rundan openers out in the middle as they need to chase down 131 Hamza Khan has been having a good run for another exciting youngster 
who's been scoring in the domestic league at a very fine rate. Yeah, of course, missing out the first uh, two games because of school. But this weekend gives him opportunity to come and put some runs there for the Rwanda A team. There you see the skipper Roger Mukasa at for slip. Darts one down the leg. Starts off with an extra pocket dynamite sort of play. Straight away, up and over. That will go away for the first boundary. Two of seven deliveries now on Jasper. Pounces down on it. We'll give it the full treatment for maximum. Biggest one of this afternoon, Joseph Baguma. He's a far bold 1.5 and gone for only four runs. You can't hold Ivan Wade from this tournament. Knocks him over, crushing Yoka. Straight and full. Ivan just indicating I've got five good deliveries at him and he couldn't touch any. The final one, finding the timber. And that's the end of the struggles for Nzaiza Jasper. Not very, very good figures, but look at that one. It kept low on the occasion. Look at it. Pace at both ends. Up and over this time. Fielder getting underneath it, and he's been caught in the deep. And that is Pascal Murunji. Picks up the wicket of Hamza Khan once again as he gets to gets closer to the 20 run mark 16 this time he gets out one man in the deep and he picks him comfortably yeah, of course the dot balls had started taking on some pressure there to Hamza Khan every time you keep getting those bullet balls you keep putting some pressure 16 or 15 with a circuit of 106 knocks him over and that's the end. He's got to depart for a duck without troubling the scorers. Chris Yusuf does not do too much apart from his brother. But what a start there from Musa Majid Rama. His first over going for only one run, actually, the way that he bowled down the leg. And he manages to pick up two wickets. Very, very brilliant. Chris Yusuf Nomhoranya will depart with no runs on board after facing two. Trying to go for a big, big shot. Misses it completely. Just crashing into his thigh pad and onto his stumps there. Not very bad in T20. First delivery, bowed him, Amy. Uchodu. As well, Amy and Suraj. They lovely ten there. This is what we've been seeing the whole day. Is this the right delivery here? Yes, it is. Clear as the rope. It is. This is what I've been saying. He just needs to pick the right delivery to hit. Could be hard to complete a run out. That one is flighted, edged, and taken. Shot there that should go all the way to the boundary. Yes, this is what they've been looking for. And yes, it does. It will race away to a boundary. Every shot in the cricket book there. Shot now. This one is well played and well placed. That is a good shot from Bosco. This is what. In the air, Fielder gets underneath it, should be taken, will be taken comfortably. And that's the end of Tweezer Jean Bosco. The troubles come to an end, 22 of 32 deliveries. Flighted, and that should be racing away for four, powerfully hit by Rukundo. Excellent shot, that pressure now. Roger Mukasa back in. Connects that one. That will go over the top for a maximum. This is Irakoze Kabare KV. That's a six. That's a six there. By Irakoze KV. Nine here. 
the field, the stamps comes into the field. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uganda winning this one again to make it three out of three. So winning by 12 runs here. Yeah, holding on to their nerves. Uganda win by 11 runs. And there we have the scorecard up front. 16 of 15. Hamza Khan, Nziza Jasper with two of 13 deliveries. And that is where the troubles began. And then Muchot Busenge Eme, two of five. Namuhoranyi Chris scoring a duck of two. Zero Jambo score scoring 22 but at a cost of 32 deliveries with a strike rate that hurt his side 68.75. Christian Bedeheroe 10 of 9 got started really well and then gave it away. A fighting knock by Rukundo Jean Pierre 32 of 28 and Kavari Kevin uh, giving in the final blows of 21 of 16. But that was required much, much earlier with 14 extras to help them get to 119 for 6 in the spell of 20. There you have the economy of the bowlers. Christopher Kidega, the newcomer, got clubbed for 12 runs in his one and only over. Musa Majid picks up 3. Having given away 14 in four overs. Then you've got the captain, Roger Mukasa, three overs, 25 runs, 8.3 being his economy. And Siraj Zubuga, two wickets for his name, four overs, 16 dots, 20 runs, five being his economy. Uganda winning this competition comfortably by 11 runs. Signing out is Zaid Khan and Mr. Lennon Namburo.